This video is gonna be so tense that I had to stand up for it. So, you know when you buy a shoe and it's too tight around the top box area? Or when you buy a shoe and you're not sure about the sizing and you buy it half size small and it's a little bit too tight? You know that feeling when you buy dunks and the length is fine but the tightness around your toes is too much? Well, you know when you buy a shoe and the size is okay but actually it's a little bit tight so you can't go half size up because it's gonna be too big? Well, lucky for you, I got a solution. I was looking around, wow, that sounded like scammy ass ad oh my god i swear to god it's not sponsored guys it's not i just found that on amazon i just looking for random shit and i found it the only solution you need the only thing you need to solve this problem is this over here yes i bought it from amazon it costs 19.99 20 euros yes i'll leave a link down below no, it's not sponsored again. I swear it's not. I swear to God, it's not sponsored. I just found it. I, was, I thought it might be helpful for lots of you guys because some of you actually did message me about this subject. Well, yo, they're a little bit tighter on the top box area. What can I do? Yeah, the only solution was you need to wear them and with time they get better. But with this thing, it's like it will wear the shoe for you, but in like one day. You need to do it in one day. You need 24 hours and the shoes are ready to be worn and you won't be having pain around your toes. So let's waste no time and go straight into this, I would call it tutorial maybe? I don't know, video, let's go. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. You actually get two shoe trees, I would call them. Uh, from, yeah, when you buy, you get shoe two because one for the left and one for the right. You can look at it like, yo, what, what the hell is this? Is this Captain Hook or what? Um, yeah, this is, it looks weird. At the beginning I was like so lost, like what should I do with like, what the hell is this? And you get some extra shit with it. You get like a, I would call a shoe spoon or whatever you call it. And you get those extra pieces that I did not use, but you could use if you want. I could, I will show you later how to use them, but it's like extra pieces if you want to concentrate on some areas, some certain areas around the toe box area that you really want them to be wide, that's where you can use this. So that's all you get in the package. You get two pieces of this extra shit and that's it. That's all you need. It's gonna take a few seconds to put in the shoe and I'll show you how right now. So first thing you're gonna need are the shoes clearly. I have my dunks over here, the undefeated dunks. I already tried it on the left side so it does work. This is the right side. I did not try it on there. Um, so all you need the shoes again make sure to take this out you don't need that and yeah over here again we get this thing I'm gonna call the shoe tree and we got the extra pieces I'm gonna show you if you want to use the extra pieces how to install them or put them on there so all you gotta do is just yeah just actually like like this it's simple it's very simple I wouldn't recommend using it on sneakers on like dunks air forces um, I don't know, Air Force, you don't know Air Force, uh, Dunks, Jordan ones or some shit, nah. You just use it maybe on some like dress shoes and some class shoes, but on, on sneakers, I wouldn't recommend using these parts just because I think it's gonna be too much. But if you're gonna use them, you can install them like this. That's gonna make these extra spots extra wide. So if you put it in the shoe, you would say like this spot over here and this spot over here will be extra wide or bushed more than the other parts. So I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't recommend using it. If you wanna use it, you could. And this part over here is for this part over here. If you wanna make it a little bit higher, if it's if it annoys you for some reason, but I would, I won't use it. So I'm gonna just keep it clean without these pieces um, because I don't really need them. I want the whole shoe to get wider and I don't want like, I don't have certain spots where it's like painful and yeah, now I just can't take this thing off. So yeah, we got this thing over here. All you're gonna do is make sure to put it in the shoe like this. And now you need to adjust the length so it sits perfectly in your shoe. Um, and you're gonna do that with twisting this thing here, this part over here, this wheel over here, I would say. You're just gonna twist it like this. Make sure that this, this black part over here this thing is in the back on the heel of the shoe so it sits perfectly there and you adjust the length and you as you can see this this black part over here is just closing in just to make sure that it's sitting perfectly inside the shoe and it's not moving and it's yeah it's applying the pressure that you need um, so when you think it's tight enough and it's done or like you can you will notice it like you can't twist it no more um, that's where you stop 
Um, and now it's the important part over here. You can use the hook on the back. If you rotate it um, clockwise, it's gonna make it wider. So I don't know if you cannot, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know, can you, if you can see it in camera, wait a minute. Um, I'll try and show you guys, it's really hard. Uh, look at this part over here, right? Now I'm gonna make it a little bit looser. Um, so now I'm closing it in and now I'm going, making it a little bit wider. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, wait a minute. Can you see it pushing through? Well, you can hear it for sure. um yeah i don't i don't actually know if you can see it on camera but yeah if you twist this hook clockwise it's gonna make it wider and if you rotate it to the left um uh, it's gonna just close it in so make sure when you when you make this part over here like this this yellow thing on the inside when you make it wider make sure you're not doing it too much you don't want the shoe to be too wide because that's going to ruin the shoe make sure you, you just reach a level where you think okay this is okay just feel it and see how much is it's pushing it and when you think yeah this is okay just leave it like that for between i would say 18 to 24 hours and then test it and wear it if it's not wide enough for you you can maybe try and just make it a little bit wider the next time just put it in again here and do it do the process again and make it a little bit wider. So for first time, I wouldn't risk it all and go like extremely wide. I'll just keep it a little bit wide. And then, then if it's not enough for you, you can do it a second time and see how it goes. Um, for me, um, I did it in my first pair. I just did it like randomly. I didn't actually know how wide it was. Actually, I noticed the difference. Like as soon as I wore them, I was like, yes. It feels like you wore the shoes for two weeks now and they are just fitting perfectly. You know, when you wear the shoes for two weeks and they shape into your foot, like they just they just feel good. And that's what this thing does. It wears the shoes for you. Like after this 24 hours, the shoe is gonna feel like you've been wearing it for two weeks and you won't have pain around your toes. And that's perfect for me because I have a wire foot and dunks usually fit, doesn't matter which size I take, they fit tight around those areas over here. So now after this, I can wear them and have no pain at all. Uh, I'm gonna leave it for 24 hours between like, I think I'm gonna leave it 24 hours and then I'm just taking this thing out and that's it. That's all you're gonna do. Um, again, make sure to not overdo it. Um, just look and see. Um, you can use this on all shoes, to be honest. You, I, I don't th see why not. It's like, as again, it's like wearing the shoes for a few weeks, um, like breaking in your shoes for you. Yeah, I hope it was not that complicated. I'm sorry if I did, ma did make it complicated. So to sum it up again, all you need to do is follow the instructions I showed you guys. Again, very important, do not overdo it. Do not make it too wide because it's ruin the shoes. Be careful with that and please, please be careful. Don't don't ruin your shoes. Try a little bit at the beginning and then if you see it's not enough, just do it again and again. And the longer that you keep the shoe tree in, the better it's gonna be. And yeah, if you enjoyed this quick tutorial, make sure to like this video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Really appreciate it, guys. I hope it was helpful for some of you. And again, you have the link in the description if you wanna buy it. It's not sponsored, it's not, but yeah. Appreciate you guys, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, peace.